Yeah, I like that as well. Again, Lowell throws the wall down early and they rotate four over towards B. And now, obviously, the spy cam picking up that information. Rotate back over here. Niso will find the first one to see now. That's a big victim. Ascend. So you're going to lean back here and Nuki wisely backing away here. Going to try and throw the paint show and to slow this down a little bit, but they might be able to pass. Nuki will find. Well, you'll find the second as well. One Huge work from Nuki. That's just cut off any plan that Ascend tried to have on this switch up. Golden End cracks open an opportunity. There is another, though, to kind of fill the gap. That's going to be Porus, so he's going to be put on red alert and have to try and play safety here towards that B connector, just towards heaven. A bunker will actually find a kill on the other side of the map. Could make things interesting here. Heretics right now, two players committed to ropes. It's Owl and Niso. And Poor has actually gone hunting. Look at him. He's gone all the way through garage here. So, going to get some decent information that I was going to say. Ascend potentially looking to make a play in mid. Lau now needs to hold down the four, but he does get traded out. Really nice trade there. And Poor, like I said, he did go hunting. Just going to be policing the weaponry. You can see Poor is just like, please, let me just, let me, let me just get that. And I'll go. No, Cned. <laughs> oh, Cned. He's not afraid by any means. Spots the first poorer though. Unafraid to fight either. But now he's got the information. He has to play this just right. He's re-aggressing towards ramp. Keep that in your back of the mind. If he starts rapping on this, no. Seekers come out. Sprays in. Oh my word! He shut down Ooh. all of it. Ultima's gone to waste. Nisau now comes around. He's there in support. There's two players. One right. One left. Poorer finds the left, and it's Nisau on the right. As Sen gets shut down. This is a huge rap coming through ramp. Killers does well to shut down Nisau, but it's still just two of them on the site. Make it just one. Colder Menta going to be crunched on and heretics. <laughs> the paciness on this. Look at this. Still a 4v4 in action. Keep your eyes on the spike leaning back towards A. But Nookie out of nowhere finds Killers. The res gets invested. Heretics kind of forming back towards seconds. 5. And you're right. It's just 10 seconds. And Pora just has to play for the spike plant. He doesn't have to do anything else. Just ensure safety. He's cautious of his own push and it does come out. I don't know if they've got time on the spike plant. They apparently, apparently they do. Love the fact that Heretics, the pace changes already. They've had a couple of rounds sitting nice and deep, a couple of bits and pieces thrown out. But already Bone Cold's going to find a moment. But look oh, at the shutdown. As soon as they step down, towards please. the site, Heretics are so ready for this. Spikes down, lost towards B main. That's unrecoverable at this point. It's just Cned and Killers. Now that's a shot. Just snappy as ever is Cned. Nisau's down. Now a 2v3 between these two. Kanuki. Hey, it could happen. Nuki's gone all the way through, so they're going to have this information, and actually he might try and re-aggress behind them in mid lull. Going to find Kiles off screen. He might just catch CNED creeping. Did they see each other? I think Nuki must have seen him, right? I feel have. like the timing was there. Oh. Oh, no. No, don't Nuki, do it, Nuki. No. Nuki, don't do this. Thank you. Oh, okay, thank a, you. A kindness. Yeah. In the early round, he's out. And Pora going hunting elsewhere. Kiles going to get spotted. This is the thing, really, with no... I mean, Keyless is that, you know, that sent... And catch the cross. He can sit well. in a dirty angle to do this as well. That's going to be the first for free. He sees the barrel so quickly, readjusts towards sight, new angle. Might have got spotted on the way out, but still, going to buy time for the rotations to come in. 36 seconds now. They've still got to get past him, and Avova's still standing. Ascend thought maybe they'd found a way around, found something out. Still lingering in CNED. Can't make it count this time, and the spike is left deep. The infam... And so we go. Lau gets his... Oh, okay. CNED just fell to CNED. Okay, yeah, maybe they don't have an ultimate, but they've got the ultimate player. They can just pour into a site. Seekers go down, and now Heretic's on the back foot. Pressure starts to mount for them. The spike is planted. Bone calls there. Gets himself a rifle, locks and load, and is ready. Nuki and Pora called upon on the retake here. TP comes out, Bone Cold just tries to play a dirty little game, but Nuki's having none of it. A 3v2, it's feasible. Cold and Mentor and Stark, so unable to get rifles yet. Still on the Sheriffs. They do have armor and decent post plants. Four of the first one in. He's got support from behind, but he gets found. No trade Nothing there for him. Peak. It's Nuki. Look at this play. CNET opens it up. Keep an eye on the spike, because that is making his way up mid. Yeah, and there you see Nuki that's going to find it. The counter beat from Niso. So good. So good from these two. They find the entry on A, but finally will trade that out of over falls, but they find themselves at a 2v3 now. Spike going to hit this rotate through sewers. He's got to buy time. He has to just try and buy he has time. That's the challenge here, yeah. He has to slow this down. This is going to go about timing. Killers gets caught off and it's open now. Nisau's there. And Starkso knows he's in trouble. The double face. He's trying to find an individual fight and he gets given nothing. So well played in the end by Heretics that I love the idea. But let's talk about those kind of... 
challenge Niso up in heaven. Actually going to swing onto this now. Niso double dips and we'll find Kiles instead. The confidence to re-peak on that. You've just yeah. lost that angle. He finds it back with the Leer and then just doubles in. Res comes out for Killers, though. So they're back up to a 5v5. And Niso's in a little bit of danger. 10 HP is going to be put on notice. But have over bails him out from that pillar just behind. Just keeping him safe. Almost using Niso as the bait. But he can't capitalize anymore. But LOL can! Out of heaven! Just rains down hellfire from above. And that's a send left in Tatters. Maybe they're just going to leap on over him. And oh... <laughs> You know, mincing of words here. This is very much to the point. Cena's made it to the back of sight, but Nuki's already found Cold Mentor, and that's a problem. Poor with the spray through finds Bone Cold. Cena feeling lonelier oh, and lonelier, no. all on his lonesome now. Dives back in. That's one. Oh. That's two. He needs more. He gets more. Three. Oh, oh my that's word. He's given them a chance. Another 1v1. Make it a 1v2. Santo! It's happy to charge this down. And this is it. This is the no respect coming out from... Ooh, okay. The drive-by comes out from... Oh, my God. Niso will fall. Stars are going to pick up Pora in mid. This is man advantage right now for Ascend. Spike planted. Tina disengaging from the fight, trying to stay alive, keep himself living in this one. Not too much to play with. Starks are going to try and lend a helping hand here. But while this happens, Lowell's already found Kodamenta. So a 3v3 now. That little advantage has been worked away at. But I like the disengage there almost from CNET of over blind as a bat Beautiful. gets taken Beautiful. down by Stark. So who founds the first step in the right direction? The trades come out though. Let's look at this positioning coming from Heretics. You got Nookie backside in towards a cubby, gets contact with Stark. So and now while this happens, unable to spot oh, CNET, so the call couldn't come out. He just beheads Lal, and there it is. A chance has been made. So you kind of try and weather the storm, but Heretics looking like they want to commit to this, and Heretics actually committing to so, the site. Bone has yeah. gone. Blink of an eye, he's struggling on the amount of pressure. Heretics are just throwing themselves at a wall and trying to make it stick. And that's not a disrespectful play. It's a smart play with the advantage and the pressure that they've been planted. mounting. Now, with the spike planted again, another retake is going to be called upon. This time, a little bit deeper towards pillar, backside, and towards main. Also, getting down. Nisa actually going to find Cena, though. That's a big loss for Ascend. They find themselves in a 3v5. The flash comes through. Gonna get too much though. Niso immediately responds onto that. Polimento, one, one kill of his own, a second, 46 HP, and not an awful lot left to do and lost to stop that. Yep. So now, I mean, Heretics pull away with a win <laughs> in this scenario. Seen it actually gonna creep out mid. There's three people waiting. And <gasps> Gets the first two. Lowell and Pora will fall. Over eventually equalizes. Polimento gonna pick that up. That's his. Big win coming out for Ascend there on the back of Cena just creeping mid. Ego challenge almost now towards Sushi. Out. Oh, out. I actually catch time in here. They do get towards Bone Cold did second guess it. Standing. Now Voba, the 1v4 presented. 30 seconds on the board. Looks like someone's about to just walk that smoke. Not sure if Killer's got vision as he tried to dip around towards Pillar. He oh knows that Bone Cold was towards CT. Takes for the fight, and this is not oh. clean as he'd won. And now he's in trouble. Two players pouring through towards Pillar. He's got the first fight coming in. That's one. No conversion. Bone Cold has so many players potentially coming his way. There is a player on his team towards CT, but to Cold Amenta walks the smoke. He does find Nisa. Look, he goes down. Stark's all coming online. Two big kills. One Spike is loose for now, and CNET spots out that fight. Final player, but Starkso so very well handled under pressure there. That flash, those sound keys will come through. Starkso so knows he's in trouble. That's one. He needs more. There's two. Keeps himself alive. Flash goes in. He's buying the time for the rotations. Bora does find him, but Cena now can be called upon. Keep control of this. And now the rest comes out. 13 seconds. Heretics going wild on this one. And the cross could be watched by Cena. Catches Nisel, plucks him out of the air, goes back in, spots out two more calls can be made. And there's nothing more to be done. The times once again force further back. I do like Rainer against it off, but it's Starkso so still trying to find value. Oh, the adjustment could been big there for Evova. If he was able to convert towards Cold Amenta on towards Pillar, that could have been it. And the just Evova wins those fights. Already on the site, Spike can be planted. Seen it behind enemy territory as Nookie's caught him. This could be the one that tilts them away as Kieles and Bone Cold called upon in these final moments. They need a victory out of this. And they're trying to fight for it, but Evova again gets such value in the imperative rounds. Three piece for him. Uh, just also maybe a little overzealous. To He's out showing towards A, but the TP comes out. That's deep towards back B, and I wonder if that pinch is going to come in. I think Starkso is going to check on it, and he does, oh. but he loses his life for it. Avova slicing them down the middle again, and all heretics are doing some dirty work as our sender left with three.
Tina tries to pull himself in the middle of this danger. Sees nothing yet. The spike is on the way. How patient will he be? Bone Cold starts to investigate, but there is a player down here. Connor just in time. It's falling apart by pieces. And now CNED, he needs to find this. Oh, the timing! He gets caught right in the middle. He still gets one, but this is probably not enough now. Just called a mentor left alive. The first challenge will be a Vova towards CT. Spike gonna be planted. But no, Cold Dementor goes Spike towards planted. heaven. And Heretic's on the verge of map point being put in their pockets. Old Dementor looks for the first. No opportunities presenting. Clears towards rafters, nothing. You can see a little bit of a peek on the side there. Lau, did he spot him? Maybe enough so. Drop down comes in, sound cues made. The first, there is no flank yet either. This is going to be the players who are here. Now let's look at Heretics. Not overly involved just yet. The smokes are still into place. The spike has made it towards the site. And there we go. Plant going to come in. Once again, a 5v5 post plant. I was going to say, you can see it. They're literally pinging where they know they're going to try and get this plant down. Now, Sen not pulling all the way back just yet. But the molly's available to snake bites also. So Heretics have to make moves right now. And they're trying to. Rubino's found the first bit of Cena to find them right back. Already Lalo does find Cena, so that's the danger man gone. The man with the golden touch has been removed, but it's now just Nookie left. And you can see the dick value and then pulling this is wonderful. Rubino just out in the open. Beautiful. Stunning work from CNE, controlling that CT playback through, not allowing anyone to try and get an easy step. With 20 seconds remaining, the spike is planted. How poor is there, but can he make it out? Yes, he can. This might be a save. Yeah, poor as position. Now he has to be committed to holding on to the shower angle. Does still have the trap wire on short and the spike am Also, poor actually going to swing fine CNE on short. Making a big kill to open this up. Yeah, and the spike am A lot of information garnered off that. That's not bad. And honestly, taking down that player at the start is great. A little overstepping of Mark. I don't mind the spam, but no one's there to really capitalize on it. Maybe just a little frustrated left wanting. Now, Nookie's got himself towards the kind of backside of sight, towards the boxes. Now that it's the post plants that are the problem. We discuss this often, how powerful they can potentially be. I wonder how Kiles Bone Cold brings themselves into action, even Starkso to a degree. Bone Cold now going to be challenged towards you all those lamps above. And now Kiles tries to buy some time, going to cut off the push. But no, Avara oh, doesn't care. Walks on through. They did not expect it. And what a surprise. Like Venom just walks on in. Zero care. And Starkso, he does it. The smoke criminal backs away. And now he didn't get his halfway. The bait, he doesn't come off it. Lol now sits in. Beautiful. Can't do anything. Starkso. Okay, that's two. We have rifles in this round of over. Is there eventually? Once again, invested. That's going to reveal Pora's position. Actually, Cold meant to trying to charge him down. Really difficult here. Vova got to find something on the flank here. Finds the first stars. Or trades it, though. It's given them a, a, a window of opportunity. It's not a big one, though. Rubino has to now kind of come online. He's got to find some form here. Spots out the player, gets him. Stark's so gone. The double stack towards the kind of... Warner here, CNED the first man to offer himself up, he wants to get halfway, can't, that's now denied and as is the round, Ascend, looking very well constructed, considered as well, and holding for- Let's go for, this is a different look from Ascend, we haven't really seen this, but I was going to say, this is kind of set up for plant around triple, oh, we're actually going to find Cold Amenta. that's all the way down on B long, but Nuki actually responds onto CNED as well, Spike now making its way all the way through the cave. Like I said, though, this is a... Uh, not seen this from Ascend before, so we'll see how they handle that to try and recover this round now. Ooh, he was lined up for it. <sighs> Counter three and pull the trigger. It works so often. Now we wait. Spike yet to be planted. Keep your eyes on that. Pretty sure it's with Bone Cold. Healer's trying to secure. Bone Cold, Spike. Going to be double dipped on, and the ultimate's being popped. That's so so gone. This is looking like a shutdown. It's just bone cold. Perfection from Rubino, and I loved the discipline from Heretics as well. Then maybe compensate for that. Some information gathered here initially. I mean, between flashes in the Aldrone, but I think it's in. They're going to come in for one of their dry plants. There you go, Lau. Let's shut that down. Oh, that's nasty, isn't it? Poro was there so quickly. You were right. You were sitting on that flank in between the 50-50. And Heretic's now coming alive here. And yeah, flawless indeed. Just right. They wait for that smoke to land. And now the spike take 
should be coming down. Already plant comes through, no problem there. Yes, you can send out a pain shell, but even with the damage, it doesn't matter. They'll take that for the sake of the plant, but of over quickly finds called a mentor. And now that's a bit of an issue. Now, is there any other free kills offered up? Now, keep in mind, Cena <laughs> is very much ahead of the others. There's that lineup. Hopefully, this one is spot. Ooh, it's perfect. Spot. It will do. It will do the job. There it is. It's good enough to force Nookie into bad spot. He does find oh, Cena, so it's clears off. out. Is it off? It's oh off. my god, it is off. It landed just a little bit short. No it was the way. one damaging Nookie. And they've just fought this. Oh, you've got to check. You've got to check those. Trying to go towards us, he is. This Love is this. crazy. Love oh, it. he gets one. He gets away with it too. Doesn't even get traded out on. This man's confident. Backs away. Gonna get back up towards heaven. And oh, perfect play from Nookie. Remove some of the pop from Ascend's execution. Nuki going to get smoked off once again, but he can actually creep the edge of this. This is terrible. Oh, no. Cold Amenta actually tries to jiggle peek it. Nuki will get his second on the round now. He's going to creep again. He finds his third. Nuki putting this operator to work. Nuki has been such a controlling factor towards his site. Killers is left to die, and Cena's out of there. He's, he's not wanting any of this anymore. It's Time over, HP. it's done with. This round is shut down. Nuki, since he got that up, has been putting up rounds for this team. This look coming out from Heretics, these adjustments they're making, even credit to Pora to sit on that rotation until they feel pressure is perfect and we'll get in but this is giving a lot of time for heretics to come through and reinforce cena gonna find poor that's a big kill early on look at the gp though i'm over oh gets caught by call the and here we go 5v4 now there is still potential in this lowell is just pressuring everywhere they're trying to hold the line though time beginning to dwindle oh the shot for stark so is so good towards nookie now lol poor and rubino Still trying to play this one out. Paul Dementor starts to get a little closer to this. Make sure he can hold maybe the crossfire here. Here's the spike being touched. And he says, no, get off this. You are not getting it again. Oh, well, backs away in time, but information received. What do they do with this 40 seconds? Kill is still. Let's stick around here. Step's going to be giving away the falls away for this now. Now, he aggresses to the corner. What? Oh, oh Brow does him. That's gonna sting. Cold Amenta can't do anything about this. Spike plant for showers. Heretics have this on wrap. Look at this. Ascend look a little baffled as to what to do. That wall has changed up the plan here. Indeed, it's gonna make a sit behind this. Probably another 20 seconds or so on it. Breaking. Senior actually gonna come right over the top of Spike Cam. Actually gonna reveal away his position. Bone Cold will find one, but. Now Heretics can kind of reset. I mean, they can play this from Sean. Look at it. The setup, the readjustment is perfect that from Heretics. Actually, Nuki might get caught off. He's going to jump through Cold Amenta. Bad lad. The hopping classic. I'll get that weapon upgrade, though. Keyless has to peel away. And actually, on the other side of the map, you can see the back of this push through towards Market. They've got two trap wires to deal with. Rabino actually going to drone out here. Ooh, if they pop it, he might be able to dash and actually get Rubino. He's still in his the gap. Yeah, he That's has perfect. seen it. So well played there off the back of that great read of how this is going down. Just that feed of information. But the wall goes up regardless and the spike should be planted. It is. Not the same angle. Killer's hoping maybe he could make more out of that. But it's not going to do too much. But it is down to Pora, Lal, and Avova. Now there is a gun recovered. That's in the hands of Cena. Avova on the wide peak. <gasps> and he huge. still gets away with it. He's about to catch a case just murdering people like that, High Park. How on earth does he get away with it? The paranoia is so perfect. It's unreal. Darzo now going to try and creep back in behind, but man advantage goes over to Heretics of Over, finds his fourth. Keeler's tagged up by the spy cam. Just so much to deal with, so much clutter. Of Over goes for the ace. Towards B, because all that information has been recovered, but it's going to be a late in the day hit. Now, again, I'm keeping my eyes on Cypher. Because this might be a bait play. It is. He's going to offer himself up to the cause. Take TP at best. Die at worst. But it should keep the player's presence. But it doesn't. Stark Zone now has to fall away from this. Flash gets caught. Ultimate gets used. Of over. Has to try and dip out. He stays alive. Now time. 12 seconds on the board. That spike is just about crossing now. Stark Zone wants to catch the walls in the way. Still sprays in. The body block comes in. Of over. Will die for the cause. But Bone Cold rips it away. And now we're just down to two. Nookie and Lau. And Nookie's found one. The trade comes out towards Lau. And now just Nookie left in the 1v. Four, no more as Bone Cold will find it 
and puts himself in prime position. This means going to be a factor. Cnet's walking this. Cnet has walked out of showers. He's continued forward. He's got a Vova, but can he get out of here? The smoke wall's up. Now Bonecorn's going to see one flying through, so information found. Ultimate popped. No damage done just yet, but Bonecorn catches Nookie in the middle of no man's land. This is now scary times for Heretics. None of those opening forays have worked. They've been held back perfectly. As well, Critic still looks as if they're going to try and force their way onto this. Way goes out. She blocked by that. Blocked the recon there. The wall's going to get invested on. Poor actually going to fall to Cold Amenta. Two well placed shock darts there. Bino, though. Get that, but Cned still a threat. Still that operator in hand. That's actually going to hit the rotate. Kiles got a lot to do to defend. No snake bites left. Just above half capacity on his smokes and his wall. No charges left for you. I mean, they've left this a little late. They're waiting on that heal to come through, but that gives plenty of time for this rotation to come through. And the spike's going to fall. Ten seconds now. Lau's just got to play his life. Cena going to clean it up. Okay, no answers yet. Look, but I'm a little worried about some of these compositions against it. However, for now, we're into the round and... It was a bit of a mixed bag coming up from Heretics. A couple of rifles, but not that much. Killers is still there, so finds a Vova. Good trade comes out from Lel. That's going to be the res online. Back up and Adam Nookie, but straight back to the grave. Gets to merely see it for a second. And Ascend put double digits on the board. This is the perfect build. Uh, Killer's still here. They can just spam that out if they have to, if they feel there's a plan or they break the wall. It's not infallible, but CNED might be. Finding Lel finds another three. They can't handle him. He's still around. Remaining. He's got his ultimate! Maybe he doesn't even care, doesn't even need it, called him enter! Did find Pora, so it puts it all in the hands left. of Rubino, left in a 1v2. Hot oh. out one, makes a mad dash with the, with the spike. He's gambling. still here. He is still win. here. We won't check on this Rubino's knife out. That's a problem. It's a mistake. Forward on it. I mean, 12 to 9 now. Heretics, let's see what you've got in store. You've got to have a plan in mind. You did well with this. They did this themselves with Nookie having this much presence, but not enough to convert as many rounds as they had to. 12 to 9, Ascender not out of... So, I think really going to come online here. Kila is actually going to shut down Nookie. Another challenger to hook at Kila's. Okay, Lau, let's see. Yeah, going to find Starzo. He tried to follow up on his Seekers, but... Can't get anything done there, so... But look at the spike. Rubino, hold on. If Rubino dies, the spike gets lost. This is what I'm waiting on. Rubino has to just play, play so sp <laughs> Boys want tag team. Ed knows he's there somewhere. They're just playing the mad game of the smoke. Rubino gets out, makes a mad dash for it. He's made it away. Ah, the wall down in, in showers there. Cold Amenta's actually going to slip all the way out from heaven. That's a big kill. Big kill. Cold Amenta and Keyless now find themselves in a 2v3. Over going to try and charge this down. Another one. Cold Amenta wins it. He's going to swing out. He's going to try and challenge. Only punishes. Rubino falls too. Questions just ring through my mind about some of these challenges. And now Pora put into a dire oh position. Oh my god. Is it? We are live into this hypoc. Your initial thoughts here. Because as the desk said, one of these teams has that 100% win rate here. They do indeed. Kila is actually the man I was just about to talk to. I love the fact that the desk lent on... So having a more traditional sentinel scene and actually going to catch poor sleeping there, but not anticipating a second. Rubino will trade it back out. Sen now find themselves in a 3v4. Meanwhile, Heretics, from Nuki at least, going to stomp all the way up through B site. And Rubino will find his second now. Stars are also trying to come through lobby and Cold Amenta thrown in the mix. Why the hell not? Oh, Cold Amenta. They're reading this, but look at this rap from Cold Amenta. Could catch the omen if the timing's just right. Let's see if they check it. Oh, the timing's not quite there. Cold Amenta at least gets the trade and pulls in 1v3. Still super difficult, but he's giving it a damn good go. He knows the position of Rubino, but the rest is somewhat unknown. Isolates Nuki and is desperate for this kill towards window, but it's not being provided. And now the time's a problem. The spike is perfectly planted for that window position and waiting patiently was Lau. No. I don't know. A Bucky to fly around, with, yeah. which is horrifically still good. There was never a moment where a jet would be punished. It'd be ops galore, but Bone Cold's the one to receive on this. Tries to play patient on the first, can't quite convert to the second. Pora's there, and Pora wants further. Looks towards the window. Stark's own now knows he's under threat, but it's going to be killers towards the site. One spotted towards long. Good control on that. Finds a Bova. Stark's so as well. And here comes <laughs> CNED. Just gives it out for free. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. Yep, heat it up early on already. First place. That's a good utility to dissuade it, right? It's like, if you've got a plan in mind, sure. And uh, it doesn't matter! Mm. Just... He actually spins, smokes off the recon bolt, and still hits that shot, Lauren. He's still here. Like, look at this crossfire. He's he's kind of revealing his position, but then look at the combination with him and Coldamenta still around. They're so good at this. Heretics, you better be ready. You better have a plan in mind because this is exactly what Ascend want to be doing. Now, Nookie put to task in a 1v4. Spike in hand can be used, not necessarily like a flash, but it will force them away from a free pick. The Boba forced away from the rotation, but Nookie, Nookie tried to trade that. Bone Gold is still there. Good for one, but the trade didn't quite come through in time. Seated with an uncharacteristic miss opens up a chance. And now finally, Heretics break through. There are two players left, but what can they do with this? Cold Dementor and Stark, so called upon. Seekers go out. Ooh, and that's if I did have an angle onto Stars of those who tries to swing off that Seekers, but a pace change from Heretics. Yes, Bone Cold finds the first, but stacked up and the pinch onto Cned was beautiful as well. Nookie gonna give away at least his presence. There we go, Ultimate Pop's gonna head on forward. Nookie there tries to send this out, catches a flash mid-air, so he can't do as much as he'd wanted. Killers gets one, but it's a Vova finding him right back, so now Starkso has to be careful, has to keep them at least contained for now. Maybe posture in for that retake if they want to. He's trying to get a little ahead here, Bone Cold. He wants to maybe play a little bit quicker on this, not fully playing for the retake, but progressing early utilizing the wall as a piece of cover but look at the funnel here it's tricky to play back towards the side bone cold gonna try it has it all look draws out the peak from long there's still the player tucked on the corner on sight he just lean around but the adjustment bone cold only good for one look he's still alive and doing well and cned he's actually still taking this fight the op he doesn't care he wants the round he's not a control cena though there you go gets the reset <gasps> oh, can you miss it no He's as quick as lightning! Finds him in a split second! Oh, and another! Oh. No! No! It's killers! Thank God! Oh, okay! Thank God. Okay! I need to breathe! I need a second! Nuki, can you clutch this or something so I can stop just staring at CNED? Destroy your team, please? Okay! Nuki left in the 1v4. I've just seen. You know when you just see things you shouldn't see? I feel like that's got a rating I'm not old enough for, and I'm over 30. And now Nuki doing what he can. The net's being closed in, though. And the fight on several fronts is going to keep making it costly, but the round is a sense. Oh, touch of a slee lean, at least with Nookie holding C long. There is a double stack towards Garage, though. And there's still plenty of players on B, so uh, this is going to be tough for them to work out. cnet has got full A control, and he can sit on this as long as he feels necessary. Very good. Well, the mentor will fall poor up on that one, excuse me. And it's the double Garage stack you're talking about. But... Poor is going to be in position to stop them coming and retaking long control, but he's very long, low HP, and Bonecold actually finds him with the wall bang. Bit of variation to the wall this time around, so heretics can solidify their position on site. It's a really nice kind of counter to what could have been the counter play, which would be take garage, take long control. Cena takes up over his life, dashes away and dips back now towards that progress on long, and they need the timing to be right. They also need the garage player and the CT player to stay alive, and they've done that. Bone Cold finding Rubino is big, and now it's down to just Lau. Now he's not going to much... The timing's atrocious. He's trying to isolate a fight. He's desperate to find one, and no one is giving it away for free. It's going to get themselves in, losing no casualties as well. The wall this time around immediately dealt with. The Heretics don't reset too deep. They're actually going to leave a couple on site here in Lingrig, so it's going to be really difficult for Ascend to dig them out. But here you go. The Seekers come through. They're going to explode with a flash, potentially. Yes, Darzo comes in. Gilles finds Lau. Bone cold on the playback through. Vova's found one, but CNED again just turns that off into a shotgun. But the flank, the adjustment, that's not bad for Pori. Does try and get some value for this. And now just CNED left alive in a 1v2. Timing is everything. Spots one! He gets Nuki! No, oh, my. Oh, oh, Rubino! <laughs> now eyes towards long either. And now Ascend can start trying to rebuild back through this. That's a big kill, though. It's Rubino with the Hunter's Fury. He was going to play deep and rely on that ultimate. Kila is actually going to swing out fine Lau. I guess through the smoke there. Yeah, Nookie didn't even get the showstopper off. Look at this. He burst up. CNED going to clean up the round. Poor or fools. This oh is a great God. defensive side. Like, it, let's let's put some context. Maybe some new viewers coming in that don't get to see these guys so much. Ascend are traditionally an exceedingly good attacking side. 
That's where there's fair fight on this one. This should be a fair sight take. If Ova's found called a mentor for free, that's okay. incredible work from Ova. Out of nowhere, finding two. Keeps control of the spike as well. Supports on route. This is everything you'd want. But how did they not just get that kill there? The flash comes through. It's perfect. But Nuki. I mean... Good rotations. Now, timing, they're pretty late in the round. We've got 26 seconds. Got to try and make this work. Over, just spray and pray, and the prayers are answered in the big. form of Nuki. Two big kills. Bone Cold and Killers go down. Cena trying to be the equating factor, and he has found one. Looks for the follow up, swims him towards CT. The quick fight, he needs it. 13 seconds <laughs> out of bullets. Has to hit the reload. Spike left. to be planted. This is Five super planted. dangerous. Stockso is very low here. Does have heal if needs it. And now already Poor has found him, though. Cold Aventure and Cened. The big duo. And there we go. Down to Rubino. Try and play back in. The tags are good. Just a couple of steps towards Sewer, I think, actually caused so much of a reaction. I'm not 100% sure if that was it, but whatever happened, it was perfect for them. And now they do get a 5v5 post plan. This retake through Garage is going to get messy. Look at the amount of bodies being brought into this. That's one for Sox. That's two for Killers. And now here we go. Ascend finding it, but Nuki answers back towards Colomenta. Lau now looks for his way in, but this is a shutdown. Heretics finally make it work, but it's Bone Cold left with the 1v1. But look at the HP. They're both so low. so low. This could work out. Bone Cold onto the rifle. But they are both so low. Oh, he's missed his, sh his shot. And now the dance around the site happens. Bone Cold <laughs> dies. And Lowell oh. just about has enough time on this. I honestly thought there was no way. It's not drawn Lowell away, but it, like I said, no. it keeps three of them there. I'll do, but that's a great shot from Bora. The tracking's perfect. He takes a lot of damage sticking around towards heaven. Now the site's been taken, spike to be planted. Let's see if anything can deny it. Nothing. Okay, 5v4 again, post plant comes in. This has to be some good crossfire set up in motion. There's a lot of utility still with the heretic side to play retake. And they've still got Nuki leading the way. That's one, that's two. The third evades, but Pora on the trade. So and now Bone Cold, all alone. Dead and gone, heretics. Lovely retake. Beautiful, actually. And again, it's, it's on the back of Pora. It's a, it's a tag. TP comes out. And away we go. Poor though. Oh, this is going to be a huge reveal. That's a spike loss too. The timing though. It gets caught in the mayhem of it all. Killers finds him. Now if they get this, there's this game on. Did Was that an pop from Cena? No way. Am I just going crazy? But the rap from Bone Cold is anything but... Oh! A stunner! And out of nowhere, Ascend just elevate the gameplay. Rubino's been noted. There's no way he could do this. The spikes recovered 10 seconds. They're making a mad dash towards B. Has Rubino read this, though? Already disengaging away from heaven. He's considering the B pod. He's got the ultimate! Oh, he's got the kill! Oh, my God. Okay. Oh. <laughs> be a mad B hit? You're right, that wall's still in place. The lurk from Bone Cold could have been big, but it's not. It falls by the wayside of Bova catches. And now in towards B we go. Left. Spike needs to go down. Nine seconds, eight. Cold Amenda denies anyone pressuring. Tries to stay One on point. Remaining. But there we go. The pressure comes in at the right time. Cened, can he survive? The answer probably is going to be a resounding no. No, yeah. absolutely not. Rubino finds him and that op. Yeah. And fire. This is a different look. He's crept all the way down mid. He's going to find two for free stars on Cold Amenta. Will fall, and Nuki gets away unscathed. Window. Up on top goes the omen. That's Bone Cold. They'll hop through towards the back of sight. See what they can do with these remaining rifles. Still just a classic for Cena. It's going to be so difficult to close this out, even though they've got the spike down. I mean, they're looking like they want to play it aggressively, and actually the paranoia is so good. But Avova will trade back on with a headshot. Bone Cold finds one of his own. Avova again. Pora closes it out. I, I love that they're playing that aggressively is absolutely the right decision. The Heretics have looked exceptional on this map. They have a perfect track record, and it's not like they lightly play it. They play it a great deal. It's not like it's a, oh, we played it two times and we've won every game. No, no, no. This is very much in their pool. Receives a touch of damage, but a 5v5 post plan here. Seekers, Hunters, Fury, Bladestorm, all available for Ascend here if they want to try and... There you go. Seekers go through. Don't see any aggression here, but it's going to force Heretics back for the time being. Now keep an eye. If Nuki finds a kill, Joe Stopper comes up. This is big work. Rubino's found two. CNED's still there. Kila's still holding on. It's a 3v2. Still Lola and Rubino need to make this one work. And pretty fast. Rubino grabs it out of nowhere. And now just called a mentor left alive. Oh. You might have thought the ultimate was enough, but no. It comes down to Lol to keep safe from that high cross. He tries to get the diffuser, but Lau dives on in. And should be able to get this. The rest can come through, but never this actuality of it. Nisa already finds Bone Cold as a beginning. 
bit of a maybe resounding start to things, but let's find out how this now knocks on forward. Ascent just kind of dice up middle as best they can, but already you're going to see a little bit more action on the flank. Nisa and Nuki just completely corner them in and call them enter. Guys, I, I made it to, to yellow. I'm, I'm on site. Ooh. This you noted, not long for this world, and uh, I mean, there you go. Into nest here. Have a lot of control. Starzo opens up, and Nuki will respond. Just makes it away from CNET, who is very close to catching that, but they've done the initial damage. Now, keep in mind, this is the bonus round for Heretics. Coming in with the weaker weapons, excluding Rubino, does have that rifle now. And, well, Rubino's rifles. He's actually, yeah, Nuki gonna. Coming out here, Cena's still waiting all the way over in spawn for that one, so it brings it to a 3v3, which is interesting for Sender able to reset off this, because nobody on A site right now, I mean, Owl playing it pretty deep. Yeah, Lao can focus on this just because of, of Ova's angle in left. middle is really quite strong for them, it keeps them good information, so they can probably stack both of their players here. And the danger man being Rubino, because he has the rifle to work with. 20 seconds, this is going to be a very late in the day hit. Keep in mind that Aldrone's going to go out, try and clear through. It's going to be down to like, what, 10 by the time they actually get towards the site itself. Depending a great deal on Killers to create Ten space. Seconds 10 seconds left. now. Lau, I wonder if he's going to be willing to offer up for this one. Already going to make it this far. Cena denies Rubino, that's a big pickup. And now the post plant Killers up on top, going to find one, finds two. As you can see the wall's going to go down. Let's see, Starzo on top going to find a Vova. An unexpected angle, just there. Rubino though with the... Shock ah, that was perfectly onto the snake by Niso, also going to find Keyless, so brings it to a 3v3 and actually makes it very doable for Heretics here. Looking towards that Viper in the post plan, Bone Cold still has the very much the availability to make this deadly. And the bait on using that ultimate, now still this time being bore here, keep your eyes on Bone Cold. Spike gets tapped, whereas that utility one just got into, pl into play, and Bone Cold with the 3k to close out. Denies the defuse and closes the round, we're back all even. Looking at Cned to see if he gets aggressive, does have his ult bait. Oh, not pretty. One of those, and Rubino wins the fight in middle, and that's going to make problems. But we've seen this pacey piece towards mid before, this fast B split. Now my eyes instantly turn towards the likes of a Vova, and allow to create this kind of, I guess, impromptu crossfire that's a little unorthodox. Spike does go down, but you do still see the kills coming through, and there it is. A Vova and Nuki actually finding the kills towards Ascend. And now Kiela is called upon with Starkso to try and defend this. Oh no, the Boomba actually gets rid of Starzo. Kiela's now on a 1v3, you got to find another kill and quick, because the closer and closer they get, the harder it gets, he's actually going to pluck Niso out of the skies. Two, Two bullets. bullets left. Get the reload. No, he doesn't. Oh. No, he doesn't. He can Nuki leaning into this a little bit. Doesn't go so well. Kiela's out does him. The trade is there, so not a huge step, but a big investment to not receive much from. Phone Cold's flank is going to be sick. Okay, now that's a problem. If Ova's gone down, now do they read into this? They kind of have to. Yeah, away we go towards B. They're pulling the cord away from A. They don't want this anymore. They're going to hit towards B, and Bone Cold is way further ahead than expected. The difference maker, well, it has to be Nisal, right? The res comes out, and now we have a 4v4. This could be a big deny. He doesn't quite oh. find them. Spike can be planted now in the open. Bone Cold again. Out of nowhere. What a perfect lurk from him. Beautiful stuff. Seen it. Still Bladestorm in hand, but now have a really nice position on yellow here. Oh, well, Rabino's got himself, got himself st stuck in Snowman, I'll be honest. And on the side of Heretics, there's not an awful lot of utility to really dig him out. No smoke or anything. Bone Cold with the lineup. Snake by three or four second hang time there. So they're going to run the clock down. Cnet going to find Rabino. Which is back to the blade. Tries the headshot. Nuki falls. There's one man left standing. It's Lowell and he's trying to backtrack. But Star... Traditionally, a favoured map for them too. Over to you, Nuki, finally flexing out a little bit. It's mid this time around. Niso going to double down, and that's it. They're going to get spike control here, and the Cena can land this shot. Of course he does. Leans one up now. Sen find themselves in a 3v4, and with that, Viper ultimate invested. They can lean heavily on A. Keyless, though. Do they expect this? I don't think they do. They're being cautious. Okay, really good check coming in there from Lal, just to make sure really keep that diligence in the right place. Now he's going to know another player. Kielas has really good information as to where players are in this. This could create some space. Rubina just absolutely body checks him in it. 
Kilos goes down and now called a mentor and Cena. The last two alive and there was control towards the site, but you can't do that. Rubino is just outdoing you on these peaks. Now in a position again, again. Really, it makes it difficult. And they should be as such. Oh, we are right into things. Didn't didn't expect that catch up there, but I'm just gonna have to wait and see what happens in this round. Honestly, I'm kind of it's nice. unsure what's happened. <laughs> First position for this yet. I want to see if Cena gets aggressive. Oh, oh, not oh, again. again! Thank you. Oh, that it's felt like the four players left alive. Make it now three. Starto quells Nuki this time. Oh, magical above aces happening. Sign take's going to come through. This has been secured well enough by Bone Cold to at least get the spike towards the site. Decina controlling middle. No one expecting him to still be around there. Even finds another knee cells. Got it. And this is gorgeous work from Ascend. Instantly hey. biting back with a flawless round. Uh, on a couple of fronts here as well. Spike to be planted. No, a stock so just up and over. Finds of over. The trade comes out for Lau. Spike yet to be planted. They paused for a second because as you can see, heretics oh, are just tearing them apart. Bone cold. He thought he'd done enough, but apparently not. And now there's threats everywhere. Has to work his way through this, but the shots are never ending. But he finds one towards Nisal. Next target. Anyone else daring to walk into his world? He doesn't need to. Nookie waited. They've got the boxed in here. They're not going to be able to set back up. Re Rubino actually ready for it, but Cena comes through, finds a lot of damage, but it's heretics to draw first blood and find a second. This is big, though, from Kilos up above. Gets one, but it's traded out on. The numbers are still favorable towards Heretics. They have the numbers to play these trades, but there is still one man alive that I have to look towards in these, and it will be seen it. He gets one. There's a trade again. Called a mentor now, put in towards the 1v2, and it's not going to happen. Players almost make it four. Waiting on this. This is just one side being taken. Called a mentor, finds Rubino, and it's Killers just playing these corners so well on the arena of over the only one to find one back, and Killers again double dips and finds some more, but it is still the 2v2, and Nuki is still alive see what he can do with this spike to hand and bone cold far away enough that they have to hit the brakes for a second stock so cannot go in alone now they have done well in this got, and got the upgrade that's huge to press on to niso this is mad that's a 3v2 now one kill on the showstopper as well if niso can find it here with the bucky does escape from starzo he has the paint shell so he can potentially play a lineup here to get them off the defuse as well this is looking really good for Heretics. Looking even better One, now. Bone Cold got the trade and Niso get... Bone Cold now on the wrap as well. <gasps> no way. Bone Cold's aim is exceptionally good. And now four stand. Heretics feeling a little surrounded. And they, they, they dug out another kill. Look, he's down. Right side. He's giving this up a little to Rubino, but he goes back in. And Niso's found two. Bone Cold's found three though. Bone Cold. Going beyond expectations, and Nisal left in the 1v3. 30 seconds. Spike is not to hand, and he needs to kill. The timing's right. He gets bone cord. He can't find the other. Several targets now spotted. Looks towards long, considering maybe there's some presence, but no, it's all through middle. Spike is down, and into the post palm we go. Heretics had no success towards A, so they switched it up. Bone cold on the flank as well. Cena still looking for that first opportunity. Just catching the heels of one. A tag, not enough though. Softens up the target for maybe his teammates, but he's going in for more. Nookie still looking as well. Can try to catch this flank coming in but bone cold does go down the trade comes in called him enter above heretics now down two in this lao still watching for the lineup oh this is huge work from heretics maybe this is enough it is a light already killers right on the verge of this but the timing's gonna be better for nisao cracking in towards the site here we go ultimate back online and the site take begins he's looking for a place to post that rocket it finds nowhere but rubino finds cned in all this mayhem so just three alive for the attacking side, uh, excuse me, the defending side of this called Amenta, Bone Cold and Stark. So trying to find anything, but no, just a plant presented for them now. Rubino does have that Hunter's Fury as well, so they're going to look to retake control here, Bone Cold. We'll get the best of Avova. To a 3v4 now. He's got to be careful. Rubino playing very close underneath, lands the headshot. Called Amenta will find one of his own, but... Difficult for them to really crack this. Stars are actually going to invest the res here. Senior back on his feet. Oh, and just walks into the open. Timing's going to be a factor. This is a 2v2 now. Make it a wow. 1v2. Senior may be alive, but the round feels decided. I don't think he's got time on this, and I think he knows that too. It's time to back away. Heretics going to make it a double dip. The Viper Wall goes up trying to divide this site, and Cnet feeling pretty pressured here. Has to fall away from this. 
Phone call taking some damage, taking a lot of, a lot of damage. And two beginning frags. Rubino found Zenith. It's down to three already. Stocks are isolated. <laughs> Rubino's got him murdered. And now just killers and cold mentor left to try and keep this together. Otherwise, this is 11. Spike planted. Last player standing. Actually, now it's just Keyless left standing and Heretics just bounce back once again. It just. It... The pace change from Heretic every single time. It looks like Ascend just... Pumping at the bit to get into this. Just a lot of damage. Keyless, I think, even got the heal there, but we'll find it. We'll actually get the heal up off that kill also. Cole Lamenta, though, gives one away to Rubino. Now it's Keyless to hold the fort once more. He's so down to 10 HP. If Lowell's able to get that heal off on him... Oh! Keyless finds the wallbang. Rubino will fall now. That gives the man advantage over to Ascend. Zened will find Niso also. Massive work. It's down to just a Bova and Laul if they want to close it out in this round at least. This feels as though Ascend have at least weathered the storm. I find the moment just right. Wall goes up. Gives him maybe a chance at an angle, but you can see Killers considering what to be done and there's nothing to be done now as it's a Bova left in the 1v4. It looks like Ascend have stabilized. There is the kill that comes towards CNET. Another would be something else, but it's not. Double digits now, mate. Nisal's trying to get further ahead from this. There's no easy start to it. He finally finds an opportunity, finds it. Starkso goes down, but keep in mind the flank. That is still slowly closing in, but a player advantage needs to make this speed up. You can see them trying to close the gap, but they do. CNET finds Nookie. Kielas finds Rubino. The flank is working out like a dagger in the back. This could be 11, but still the spike is planted. Time is ticking. Well, the mentor now try and dig a rover out of this corner. He's the man to look for, because whilst this ultimate's up, it makes it so difficult for a center retake. Bone Cold going to find one. Niso responds onto Bone Cold. This we'll ultimate could be the death of them. That's going to be one. He needs more. He needs two more. The ultimate's still there. This is tricky, though. He's going to dip back in. He's not on the spike anymore. And see that's gone. It's going to be a level on the board. Ascend, survive again! Cened was fully decayed there as well. If he just waited out or dropped his smoke there, potentially of over, tries to get behind. And Cened now can come back behind. <gasps> Actually loses out. Nuki finds it. This gives heretics an awful lot of control here. But look at that. Cold and Menta, Keyless, they respond. There's still three alive. They're all tucked in. Soxo finds one. The trade comes out. Nuki and Niso are left alive in a 2v3. Desperate to hold on to this. This is a good position for Niso, but he can't get it. Bone Cold comes back in. This is huge. And now... The 1v3 for Nookie. Does he get spotted? Has he been considered? It looks as though there's one in front. He finds the first, but Bone Cold on the defuse now. He's going to have to find a way to deny this. Oh, he does! And now the 1v1 called the Menta! Keeps it together! And we keep going! Blum Stark's going to be hindered on the cross, but he should be able to get the spike down. 10 seconds now. Cold and Menta, they're all there to try and support him. Oh, no! Oh, Vova! Almost had the angle in it, but it's Bone Cold to find it. Ascend! Lock this down, and Nookie left in a 1v4. Spike planted. The first target seen. Looks for a second. Gonna find the chance. And it, what? He doubles down. Keyless goes. And now a 1v2. No and way. He's still trying to fight this. He's gonna check the close up. No he's way. got another. And now the 1v1. He's gonna try and get this to half. No, he's gonna suffer through the damage. Gets it halfway. Has to dip off. He's found no the way to do this. Oh. And now he's gonna force the fight. You've gotta get on oh. this. Yesterday, but Ascend stepping up once again. Putting on a show in the finals. Oh, above him, Nuki and Loud actually creeping. Stars are going to be here to creep him. He will fall initially. It's a big kill. Stop this split coming through. They're on the verge of doing this. The trades are coming in. It is down to Laul and Rubino to do something about this. A 2v3 presented to try and close down right now. Take him to another OT. Laul going to try and divide a new path forward. Oh. Killers has found him. This is incredible stuff from Ascend. Just digging so deep. I cannot believe that they have this much in the tank still left for them. Spike recovered but surrounded on all fronts. Laul, he knows that he's under so much scrutiny. Another angle check. The spike toyed with. But there it is. He Ned. Actually, going to manage to back away, but 21 HP mm. forced out. The Nanny Swarm is perfect from Pora. Pora, perfect way to get back into this. Just, as you said, there was nowhere to go for Cena. Just cornered in as soon as he tried to get out of there. Instantaneously, got just burned down by the Molly and the Sen trying to find their way back in. But look at this post plant. It's super well considered. Rubino in the dirtiest off angle to catch that cross towards Catwalk. 
and they know that time's gonna be bought. They have to clear this. He actually goes on the peak, Big which kill. gives killers a chance now. And actually, everybody else boxed onto site, so potential here. For Ascend to come through and brute force as the Lear comes through. It's perfectly placed, but nobody checks. Nuki finally traded out, but a two for two. Now, Lao Lan have oh. over left to hold down the fort. Keelers, he finds the first. He's on for the full piece. He finds it. The headshot onto have over. Plenty of time to come through for the defuse. A textbook retake from Ascend. Flood gonna weaken their chances massively as Ascend already stacked up for this one. Poro gonna find the first. Cordimental will reply. Actually, come through and try and force things into tree, and actually that plays into Ascend's hands. To be honest, you now find themselves in a four v two. Bino and Lao. Tricky to hold still. Now the pressure starts to mount. You'd see the dash in and CNED and Bone Cold. Keep it covered. There was danger there. Keep in mind, Heretics fall behind this round. Yeah. It's a big one as well. Actually, four survive. Which means that they can run. Now looking towards this, there's a lot of presence down here. There's a lot of players on the other side, not as clean as you'd want. And this force is back again. Oh no, a fumble. Nuki's found Cena. Now they're stuck in towards this awkward fight where it's bloodied and brutal. And Nuki's won two of these. And he's going to continue forward. Cold and needs to back away, but where do you get you to? They've hit the brakes for a second, and this is why. Well, let's see. This is a huge win of over elsewhere. Going to find Bone Cold. That's the lurk on completely the other side of the map here. Cold Amento will find one. Nano Swarm just blocking off his escape, but he's got a corner to play, but like I said, that kill on the other side of the map of over going to have all the time and space to do whatever he wants. Cold Amento, 5 HP in a dream. Start leading forward. Now, the players who were on short towards Tree have actually fallen back towards Sight, and the timing is curious, but ex exceptionally good for Ascent to at least find Pora, but there's that reflex coming in from short. Lao does very well to stay alive here. Now, where is that spike coming through? It will eventually cross once they've cleared towards back Sight, smoke out towards Heaven. This is going to be tough to play back in on. This should be a spike plant without too much of a problem. I mean, that's not going to be able to get a kill on the way in. Lao actually going to get Pora back on to... Man advantage going over to Heretics here. Over though in a dirty spot. Oh, he just jumps at the wrong time. Cena going to pick it up. It brings it back to a 3v3 now. Everybody boxed into main. This position. Yeah, imagine if they still had that wall. That could change things up. They have so little left. It's just Cena with a little bit of utility. But now here we go. The trades come out. And it all comes down to Lau. And what a way to hold this one through. In approach, but I'm not that surprised. Ooh, nearly landing that one. Cena will respond onto poor elsewhere. Bone Cold also. Man advantage goes to Ascend. Making this so tricky. This is so filthy. Look on the back. Ooh. Oh, no. That's too seen. And here we go. And the narrative changes, doesn't it? When everything looks so good. But Lau, out of nowhere, digs them out of a hole. Stocks on Cold and Mentor. Making this harder work for CNED, who's ready. Knife at his side. Lol predicts it. He stays alive at 29 HP now. Cut to pieces. Now the 1v1 becomes so intense. Timing is a huge factor in all of this. 30 spike. seconds. For him to get his heal back. And the spike is left towards B main. But look at the flank coming out from CNED. Lao's internal clock is starting to predict this. And consider this! But the timing is sublime for CNED! First, ooh, watch this. Swing and a miss. The paranoia are going to slow things down initially. He's going to get that smoke off as well. His teammates there. Cold him in to ready to bail him out. The three-piece. Can he close it out? He does indeed. The ace. But cold and play this one out. The flank will be on the way. He's still sticking around. He still gets his kill. Rubino gets sliced oh to pieces. And now here we go. In we are. One player does get detained for this, but the spike's on route. A Vovus has to slip his way through. He finds Cena there, but no response comes through. It's still a 4v4. Can they hold for a second or two? Allow this big flank to come into action. Rubino's worried about it. He's right to be worried about it, but he finds one. The trade comes out. Killers is there. Ready. Locked. Loaded. The retake now becomes dicey. For the now team in the post plant scenario. Look at this flank coming in. Call them enter. Desperate for the shot. Stop. Still shows him how he's done. That's one. The second. No. Bora. Still finds Killers. And it's over. How? Sheriff beside him, but they're cornered. And now timing is everything. Just keep oh, in mind, no. Bora will be cresting it soon. That's oh, one. Oh. That's two. The third. Oh! Destroys the opponent and Pora's timing just falls by the wayside. He has to go big right back and he's doing just that. Two found, two more. Swings on it. One no. no way. 
Oh. Field position. Oh, now we might. By lol. And now just going to take that mid control. There is another player, but apparently Ball and Cole had enough. Just fades away and takes Nookie with him. This is a full buy. They're doing this against Killers. Has huge map control. He can go out. There's no one here. Focus towards A. I've got complete freedom. Planted. Rubino still trying to stay into this. Your duty is not over. Res comes in. Aura, look at this post plant though. They're both in the same position. I'm looking at Rubino with that utility. Can he maybe deny some of this pressure coming out? They're trying to clear the side, but time's dwindling. Killjoy still able to buy some time here. Rubino getting ready for this one. He knows that there's now a problem coming his way. Gonna send down one shock dart. Hope for the best. Keyless puts his life on the line. He will die for this if he has to, but he may not need to. Cold Dementor on the trade. The defuse never almost lead to a misinformation now come out and here comes the burst just one here nookie now breaks in just gonna shut that door and get to business they need that spike planted and there's the cross spike to be brought on through spike going down but keep in mind the rifles the guns they've been recovered seen it up and over no one presents anything this time they've learned from his ways the spam from cold dementor again nothing finds its way they're desperate to find this bit of information three players towards hell they're all sat down towards his scene ed he, oh, he goes for the ultimate he's going for the one there's one he needs a little bit more here though there's still that post clone oh Pora. he's dead and gone and lol called upon to clutch two players on the face and it's bone cold and cned the mvps for me for ascent three eight performance so far Ooh. two market with one making noise in the meantime just Cena just gets a kill like that what Imagine being seen, it must be nice. Just walk around, find the kill. Pora gonna walk the smoke, but it's been already met. Bone cold once in. This is their highlight reel all day long. It's, it, it, I thought it finished in the previous half, but no, carries right on in. And Pora and Rubino are just being held back by so much utility. There's still that wall towards short. Pora's gonna try and work his way forward. The spike plant's gonna come in pretty soon. And pff, what can you do to try and deny this? Spike planted. I mean, heretics are being disassembled like some Lego collection. It's it's kind of interesting to watch because I don't feel like that was the thing on any of the previous maps, but this is Ascent on Ascent. Has to be theirs, right? Rubino with the kill with the one headshot, but can he do more? Pora? He's gonna have to. Pora is looking, but he has two people in wine. There's no way. He didn't need even the second person to double peek with him. This is double digits for Ascent. Very. They are so close. This of plays any sort of, you know, unique moments coming out from the defending side. Nookie finds Bone Cold. That's a really good start, though. Now, that's going to at least kind of keep that mid-pressure building away from Heretics. Seen it, though, finds one. That's Nookie now gone. But it's the same player they saw before, so they don't know about the other two still here. They've got a good idea, for, but look at where the spike's going, Lothar. This is good. This is looking actually pretty decent for... Ascent? Oh, but wait, they're waiting still the time. in the tree sector. The, the time is 15 seconds left, and Volva gets the backs up! Oh no! No way! Cold oh. is here. Worked on the second 10 second. seconds. So damage being dealt. It's 10 seconds, Cold Mentor and Cena to try and keep this one together. It's all on Cena now. If they want to do this right here, right now, no! Heretics, stay alive for another round! No way, that shocked her from Rubino. Yeah, freebie you'll take all day oh. long. Spray from Cena, really good for the first couple of connections. And it's pretty good to take back Bora of all players, who's been super clutch from that kind of heaven position, right playing in very well. Now, a 5v4 post plant, this is where the time obviously works favorably towards Ascent, so they can just kind of dig in deep. Hold for now, Nuki on that slow, meticulous flank trying to come around. Now, a lot of the post plant is still towards the site, so Cened can be the first man forward, but Pora looks to be his crypt tonight for now. The trade's still good, though. Killer's still there, and there's still a 3v2. Make it just one, as it's all down to Killer's. It's a Vova on the play back in, and Heretics needed him in the past and down, so they, and now they know, but Cened's going to be met by a great deal of utility. Breaks through on short and finds nothing. Now, the spike has been lost. Pora's done his work. Incredible utility work, that is, and now here we go. There goes the ultimate. Avova finds Cena, and that's going to be that ultimate shutdown. This is like a huge deny. It's Heretics over. have found their form, and there it is. Another one falls in the right place for them. Avova actually got to back away from that ascend. A lot of damage on the way, and they're going to get a clean part here. Okay, this is where things get a little scary, right? 
Now, good damage being done. Great work again. Now, imagine this. It's close quarters on the side, of course, so the post plant, the benefit of those rifles gets slightly neutered. Not a great deal, but enough that it's not as a drastic gap. Time begins to dwindle. Pora has been a huge factor for Heretics on this playback through, but it's Lull this time. There's Pora finding his form, but Cena's still going to try and equal this one out with his pick towards Lull on towards the side. They see it, but Cena, that's one, that's two, the third falls into play. And cometh no the way. time, cometh the man, Cena, refusing to relent again and again. again. Seen it with the ace to put us very early. Ascend actually going to try and pivot away from this and find this bit of over. Holds his ground. Seen it falls now. Try and follow up on this. Horror still tucked behind generator. Swings out. Bone Cold going to fall. Cold Man's actually trades that out now. So 2v4 for Ascend. And they get another no of over. Stand strong once again on that position and he will clean it out the three piece from him now i'm looking for that late lurk miggles from cned here comes the ultimates coming out as well but look at this lurk coming through if cned wins this there in problems but no nookie keeps them safe there is safety in numbers as they double down killers now falls the retake is on cold to bone cold and stark so i want to close it down now but he might not be able to over refusing to relent and he forces cold to away to a deeper angle but meets his maker and now the 4v2 stark so down below with one. oh no his history repeats itself stark so wants in and now he holds the line and now just the 1v1 lol has to save the day and he might just do it from the shadows invested and look at it a spectre three vandals darzo gonna come in with the light armor it's the full utility here tree they're trying to solidify around this position the mid retake they're going back on the fight killers is there he's found nookie again there's no more rest available oh my no god it's all crumbling in middle. Cena leads through towards the side. Rubino's picked up Cold Dementor. It's still on. This is scrappy. This is a brawl. And a 3v3 begins. Cena wants more. But he merely receives the barrel of the gun. But Bone Cold right there ready for the trade. He looks for the second. He gets another. And now Rubino with it all to do. Otherwise this falls to pieces and ascend. Pick up the victory. This is everything for Rubino. It comes down to the sixth man, right down to the wire. 1v2, both players tucked all the way back in sight. He's waiting on this recon, I'm pretty sure. Look at the double face comes through, Bo 